So can you shoot professionally with the Galaxy S9 or the Galaxy S9 Plus on a photo shoot? Well, we've got the answer for that question for you and I've got a friend who can tell you just what he thinks. So this is my buddy I mentioned. This is Marion Sells. How's it going, man? I'm good, thank you very much. Good, now Marion is a fantastic photographer, professional photographer. He does a lot of professional shoots. So he's worked with the likes of Gal Gadot. He's also worked with lots of models, done a lot of modeling shoots. Uh, this man is a pro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's very good. So, um, you know, I decided to give him the Galaxy S9 Plus. It, just to answer that question, but the title of the video is, you know, can we use something like Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus to shoot professional photos? So I said, Marion, here's the Galaxy S9, take it and, and take some photos. And the first question I actually want to ask you, what did you think of the phone while taking photos? I want to say that I'm quite impressed by the camera. I really like a, a few things that are going on inside the menus and the, the software behind it is kind of clever. Uh, I really like the fact that you can do professional modes, so you can choose your f-stop, ISO and time. Um, that was my first impression. I was actually thinking that, wow, it's like finally it's getting there. Like this, these cameras and inside the phones are becoming more and more professional. Okay. And it's like it feels like it's something that kind of may free you as a as a photographer, as a phone user. Yeah. Because I've been waiting for that to happen. Okay, that's good. So, so, so you liked it, but what do you use day to day? I uh, I work with the Canon 5DS. Mm -hmm. That's my go-to camera for my studio and on-location shoots. Um, I always have big teams assembled, like we're, we're coming on set with 15 people or so. Um, and I have as a backup body my Sony camera, which takes the Canon lenses as well. What smartphone do you use? I have now the iPhone 7. I see. Okay. Do you ever use that on a shoot at all? No, I, well, I may take a few snapshots behind the scenes, but these never end up on my website. They end up um, maybe on social medias, for example. Okay. Yeah, but I, uh, I believe that on my website there's no professional photo that I've been taking with my smartphone. Okay, so that being said, um, you know, definitely check out his photos. I mean, he does some fantastic work. Uh, I'll leave the link for the website and also his uh, Instagram page. But um, that being said, you had the uh, Galaxy S9 Plus. Uh, you went out and took some photos. Uh, what, what, what did you like about the photos? Some of the photos you liked and some of the things that you didn't like. Just kind of just give us your general idea so on I, that. I think that if, you, if you're looking at it from a pro professional um, perspective, then I think this phone uh, can do a lot good to you basically if you have already the backup that it takes to process big files for example then you can with the raw function that's inside this phone you mm -hmm. can actually do quite amazing photographs i have to say i'm, I'm very impressed um, if you just go ahead and you use the jpeg then the images don't they come out looking a little bit digital to my eyes but maybe it's different different tastes of different people. What about the different modes on the camera? Did you enjoy using the different modes? Was this something? Because I know you, I know you said you preferred using the pro mode. Then again, you are a professional, so yeah. So yes, I think that uh, it's it's uh, it feels good to being able to set the ISO and the f-stop and the time on your own and mm -hmm. uh, manually because that's something I like to do and I'm used to. Um, well, maybe if you see some of the photos I took, uh, I was kite surfing and it was pretty cold. So I attempted to do the manual settings, but I ended up going to auto because it was just too cold for my fingers. And also, um, also like uh, one technical issue I run into with the phone that I'd like to uh, complain about. Is like, uh, very often the, the, the phone tried to switch into a selfie mode while so I was actually trying to set up something completely different. I was trying to set up the speed or the, or the focus. Plus and suddenly it goes into a different mode. But that's one thing, it's, it's maybe just a software related tweak that maybe Samsung, Samsung could, could ameliorate in the future. In the promo, you like switching the f-stop. You yes. found that beneficial in taking different photos? Uh, or was that more at night, uh, per se, less, less in daytime? I think that you can, you can use that as a tool, yes. If you know what you're, what you're searching for, if you, if you tell yourself you need more depth of field, or you need less depth of field, for example, then you can definitely switch the f-stop and get what you what you want out of that. I think so. Okay. So you can use it as a tool, I guess. Now the question is, two parts. Would you use a phone like the Galaxy S9 for a shoot? And second, would is this something that somebody else could use for a professional yeah. photo shoot? 
So I think me personally, I would not use it just yet. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the quality of the images is great. Mm -hmm. That's for sure, especially shooting RAW. I think you get a, a 24 megabyte file every time you shoot RAW. Yeah. But then my camera does, uh, I think it does 120 megabytes for, for, for each shot, <laughs> which is a lot, but, um, but it's worth it at the end of the day. Um, so I would not use it for myself as a professional camera because I'm assembling big photo teams and I think if you're looking at the whole budget of a shoot that I'm involved in, mm -hmm. there's no need for me to not take my professional camera that's already there and I own it, I have it. And also I think I prefer the quality of the images. But I want to say that depending on what, what purpose, what profession you're going for with your camera, you could technically do professional images with this telephone, yes. Okay. I, I think it was mainly the JPEG look that threw me a little bit off, but the RAW file look is, is quite stunning, I want to say. Okay. So yes, you could technically use it as a professional <laughs> phone. Um, there's still like there's still a difference in the feel to like a bigger camera yeah. than compared to this camera. Just looking at the sizes of lenses and sensors, sensors and yeah. you can't just achieve the same look of a big camera with a small camera. All right, so big question here. You have an iPhone 7, you've used the Galaxy S9 Plus, which would you rather have in your pocket to take photos? So I think definitely the Samsung S9 compared to my iPhone, because I'm typically, I'm not, I'm not the photographer who always has a camera around his neck, but uh, the Samsung does have a professional mode and it has a professional feel. You can shoot RAW files. I already have a, a back-end setup that can handle RAW files. So for me, it's a no-brainer. It's a, the bigger camera is the Samsung S9 compared to my telephone that I have right now. So you've heard it, guys. A great tool. It's definitely possible. Depends on what you're using it for. Uh, but again, it still has its limitations. Marion has experienced it himself, and there's some things that he definitely likes in there. Thank you very much, Marion, for uh, for uh, joining us here. Hopefully, we can do this again with uh, yeah. other devices. Maybe you might find another phone that would be, <laughs> uh, you know, would hit the mark for you. Uh, but guys, definitely check out Marion on uh, Instagram. I have his Instagram handle there for you, and also check out his website. He's got some really awesome photos uh he does a fantastic job seriously a fantastic job on entirely uh but if you have any questions or any comments uh let me know i'll try and answer them for you or if you have any questions for marian i will also just send them over uh, them over to him uh but leave them down below in the uh, comment section don't forget to like and share this video favor this video subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment mm -hmm.